Hello, mommies and daddies. So I wanted to come on here quickly to address this question. This is the most common question I get from parents. Of course, it comes in many different variations. How do I help my kids know God better? How do I get my kids involved in the things of God? How do I help my child develop a personal relationship with God? And I'm just going to give a very general answer. I'll say set a godly tone in your house. That is one uh, effective way to help your kid, your child, develop a relationship with God. That's one effective way to raise your child in a godly way. And what do I mean by set a godly tone in your house? So first of all, as we all say, you cannot give what you don't have. So are you godly yourself before you want to say, oh, I want to raise my kid in a godly way? And you know how our kids these days, they don't do as we say, they mostly do as we do. So set a godly tone in your house. Let your kids know that this home is a godly home. How do you do that? So many ways. Do you pray together as a family? You can start doing that if you have not been doing it. Start praying together. They might not cooperate at first, but you are still the parents. Stand your ground and put your foot down that we are going to pray together as a family every day. Do devotion with your kids. Like, we have a devotional that we use. So we use a kid's devotional with our kids every day. And what, what we do is that we let them read it. We're there, but they read it. And then everybody contributes. So one of them read it and they take turns to read. And then everybody contributes. Like, what did you learn from it? So every day, it's not just that they are hearing us say it. They are reading it by themselves and they are saying what they gain. So whatever the topic is today, we pick the topic, we read about it. And everybody says, oh, this is how, you know, this is what I learned from it. And then we as parents go ahead and help them apply it to everyday scenario. I specifically apply it to what they are going through at a particular point in time or what's going on in school. I say, well, you can apply it. So it makes it like practical for them so pray every day with your kids do devotion with them every day and when i mean every day i mean try your best sometimes we may fall off and that's okay let's just pick up if we, if we forget to do today or because we're in a hurry we're rushing or for whatever reason we we're unable to do it they were unable to pray together today or do devotion together today that's okay let's pick it up tomorrow and continue from there however one thing i tell my kids is i'm not going to compromise devotion time for any other thing so that's part of, what, part of what I mean by set a godly tone in your home. Let your kids know that God comes first. Not just by telling them, but by actually doing it. So sometimes they wake up late and I tell them, I'm sorry, you're going to miss breakfast this morning, but we are going to get devotion done. Your devotion is much more important than your breakfast, than your school. That's what I tell them. And so because they already know I'm not going to compromise on that devotion, they make it a point of duty, a duty to wake up early. Because, you know, kids sometimes, they can test you. So they wake up late and then we're all rushing to go and devotion is the one that suffers. So I make it a point of duty to let them know devotion is not going to suffer. You might get late to school. That may happen. You may miss breakfast. That may happen. But you see this devotion, we are going to do it. Then what music do we listen to at home? In the car when you're riding with your kids, what music do you listen to? Make it a point of duty to listen. Let your kids be consuming godly content and let them see you do it. That's what I mean by set a godly tone. So let them know that in this house, God comes first. It is important. You tell them every day and you, they also see you actually practice that God is more important than any other thing. So let's not, let our kids not see us rushing to work. I'm rushing to make dinner. I take my kids for sports. I take them to school. I'm particular about their homework. When it, when it comes to devotion, when it comes to prayer, it's okay if we miss it. That's not that important. That's the problem. Let us set an example to them and let them know that your devotion, your prayer is even more important than your sports, than your school activities, because really God comes first. Our aim is to make heaven. What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So I'm more important. I am more particular about feeding your spiritual life than feeding your physical life. Both are very important, but I'm not going to neglect your spiritual life. At the, I'm not going to feed your physical life at the expense of your spiritual life. I want you to do your assignments. I want you to excel in school, but I also want you to excel spiritually. In fact, I'm more particular about you excelling spiritually than physically. Another thing I'm going to say is invest in godly things, you know, on your kids. Invest on godly things for your kids. We want to buy designers for our children, which is very lovely. Even the Bible says that a parent loves to give good gifts to their children. But the good gifts you are giving to your children, does this include godly things? Does it include spiritual things? Are you investing in their lives? Are you buying expensive Bibles 
for them yeah i want to buy you the most expensive clothes the most expensive shoes which are all good but if your kids are like mine they, <laughs> they are in this stage of growing they outgrow these things three four five six months that's the range that they outgrow most of their stuff but i'm going to buy you a bible that will last you a lifetime so am i ready to invest in that can my kids see that i place priority on investing on spiritual things for them buy bible materials for them i'm a kid minister but i buy a lot of resources even from other i sell bible resources myself but i buy a lot of bible resources even from other vendors not even just for my kids for even my sunday school children i buy it i invest even in myself on what to teach them i teach them about god i teach you know i i i invest in bible resources a lot so can your kids see you do that or they they know that okay your priority is in getting them to look good which is great we should our kids should look good but they're also looking good spiritually these are the things our kids see and these are the things that help us set a godly tone in our in our home let us make god a priority in our home our kids will follow it might not be immediate i know we, we don't have to arrive there you know immediately we might not get there immediately but we can start gradually like i said you can start from changing the songs you listen to in your home make it just worship songs just listen to worship songs every day let us even set the tone in your house every day then start with oh, praying with your kids start with devotion time so it's not until we tell them oh i want you to give your life to christ oh you are doing bad i want you to be a good kid no you start and they will follow god will help us in jesus name